My name is Dr. Eckes. I'm a board certified bariatric surgeon and I want to talk today about what a duodenal switch is, what are some of the variations of this surgery, such as the SADI, also known as the SIPS. Um, we're going to talk about exactly what happens during surgery. We're going to go over that with a model to help illustrate that. Okay, so when you talk about a duodenal switch or a SADI, we're kind of talking about similar operation but the SADI or the SIPS is a um, modification of this. Let's talk about how both these procedures start. Both these procedures actually start the same exact way like a sleeve gastrectomy. So as a surgeon, we go in and we cut the stomach and we basically remove 80% of that stomach. And by doing so, we're taking that stomach size from the size of approximately a football to the size of a banana. This part of the stomach permanently gets removed. This is a sleeve gastrectomy. And the benefit of this surgery is a restrictive component, but more importantly, there's a hormonal component. There's a hormone hunger here called ghrelin that significantly helps patients not get as hungry. So that is the first stage. Now what makes the duodenal switch interesting is that it also has a significant malabsorptive phase. So what does that mean? Well, in this surgery, the sleeve gastrectomy is here. Now we do a second step, and that step is to separate the end part of the stomach just past the pylorus by cutting a portion of the duodenum. This portion is now separated, so the sleeve gastrectomy is separated. And the reason that's important is this portion of small bowel is what carries a bile, and the bile salts help patients digest foods, help patients digest fat, and help them absorb specific vitamins like A, D, E, and K. So the issue with this surgery is it does have a significant malabsorptive component, and by nature it does have a higher complication rate. So, first step, sleeve gastrectomy. Now the second step of the traditional duodenal switch is by cutting a portion of the intestinal tract And then we have to hook a portion up so we can digest and process our foods. And the second limb here was hooked up very, very distally or near the end of the ileum. So if you can see what happens here, you normally digest foods and swallow foods the way you would any other way. But once you get to this point, there's a whole loop of intestines that no longer sees food and no longer has the, uh, ca the capacity to absorb food. So if you actually, if you track the bile and how the absorption happens, it kind of goes like this. Your liver is making these juices all through here. And it's not until last portion that's connected way down here does the food mix with the bile salts. That's how a traditional duodenal switch works. Now, the newest surgery to the bariatric toolbox is called a SADI or a SIPS procedure. And what makes this a little bit different is this uses a single anastomosis. So let's put things back the way they were. Again, with the SADI, we start off again, sleeve gastrectomy. We separate the duodenum here. And now, instead of cutting the intestines here, we have a single anastomosis. So we go about 300 centimeters up past the ileum, and we take a loop of intestines now. And this loop of intestine is brought up so we can processed foods. So we don't cut the intestines here. There is a loop. There's a loop anastomosis that gets made. And if you look carefully here, same thing applies. Your liver makes bile. The bile goes down. Bile goes around.
At this point, this is where the food enters down here. And the food enters here and is processed and absorption happens here. So you can see having a single anastomosis makes the surgery a little bit simpler, but more importantly, you have more intestinal tract that actually has a capacity to absorb food, so we tend to see decreased side effects. Now, these surgeries are both are both great surgeries, they're amazing, but they do come with higher complication rates. And most surgeons think that in general we should only be doing these surgeries on higher complex patients with higher BMIs, those that have a significant more uh, challenging time to lose weight. So for many surgeries, the gastrectomy is great or a bypass is great. These surgeries have a bigger component. There's more absorption issues. Um, and really, the, t the decision to undergo any specific surgery should be carefully thought out with the risks and benefits, and you have to talk to a bariatric surgeon. I hope this clarifies a little bit more what a SADI is, how it works, and how it's different from a sleeve gastrectomy. In fact, the first part of both these surgeries are a sleeve gastrectomy. Uh, if you have any other videos you guys want me to try to post, feel free to post in the comments. Thank you.